Hi, we are students of the IT course in Alessandro Greppi Institute and we are all attending the Cisco Network, of course. We are enjoying it and are getting ready to visit the Oregon website from the Cisco Network, of course, with the main dinner of top networking. Thanks to it, we are now capable of reaching us, the implement us, and inside the group thing about with IPD4 and IPD6 is a math thing. Other than working at our school, we learned programming in multiple languages at higher and low level and IoT engineering. We also know about operating system and virtualization. Today we are in the Giancarlo Bonati laboratory that is equipped with the Cisco devices and we are going to do a networking activity. We will make two networks interact with each other with physical arrangement, configuration and testing. Hi, this is our networking lab. Here we have 12 racks. They are all filled with switches and routers by Cisco. Here is how we push it up. Then. We have four switches and four routers. And each router is connected to this patch panel so that we can access their gigabit ports without any difficulty. And then the routers are connected between them using serial ports, as you can see here. Now let's have a look at how we set them up. In this video, we are going to make two networks. And uh, we're, we are going to uh, connect them. In each network, we have a router, a switch, and a PC. And uh, we will use uh, two major subnets and a public IP address. In addition, we are going to create uh, two uh, VLANs, and VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And uh, we are going to set up uh, routers. And uh, obviously, we are going to use uh, static routes. A switch is a networking device that uh, receives packages and forwards it towards its destination. And uh, in these topologies, uh, it allows the connection between the router and uh, the end devices. A router is a device that connects two or more packet switch networks or subnetworks. It serves two primary functions, managing traffic between these networks by forwarding data packets to their intended IP addresses and allowing multiple devices to use the same internet connection. Now I'm gonna link uh, switches and routers. Right now the PC is connected to the switches and I'm going to configure the VLANs. Beginning with switch 3, I'm going to configure the VLAN, naming it uh, VLAN 10. And with switch 4, I'm going to name it VLAN 20. Uh, now we're going to configure uh, the switch ports that can be either access or uh, in trunk mode. Uh, the uh, port uh, uh, that uh, forwards packet uh, towards uh, the router uh, has to be configured uh, uh, in trunk mode and uh, the ports uh, that forward packets uh, to the PCs have to be configured uh, in uh, access mode. Hi, I'm going to configure the other router interface.
Now I will do the same thing with the R4 to make the network to work. At this point, uh, I will ping a return interface for the other one uh, if the link between the two will work. To make Milan 10 and 20 able to communicate, we need to set up setting logs. As routers, when you need to forward spikers to the destination, look for the edge interface in the routing table. Now I will set up both of them. Both of them. To check if the network works, I have linked two computers to the switches and I gave them two IP addresses using a virtual machine. Finally, we will check if the devices can communicate with each other. I will do a ping from this PC to this one and I will see the result. This was a simulation of an activity we usually do during our network classes. During our next one, we also use a Cisco Packet Tracer to learn how packet travel kilometers. We want to say thank you to all the people who helped us in the making of this video, uh, to our teachers and to our headmaster, because it played a key role in organizing our chip trial band. And we are really grateful to him because we know he's giving us a big opportunity by letting us visit the uh, Cisco site. We also want to give a thanks to Cisco for opening the Darwin site uh, for our uh, trip. We really can't wait to see you. Bye!